obviously had uh, your share of options when you're looking for your new home. Uh, you probably knew it was coming your way, but why, why Oregon? Um, honestly, it just, you know, it suited everything that I was looking for. Um, I just wanted to be in a great program that had, you know, uh, a lot of order and construction. And, you know, I got here and everything's in order. And honestly, everything is just so much better here. I love it here, honestly. I'm glad with my decision. How much did it help that you considered this, this school coming out of high school? Um, honestly, coming out of high school, I just didn't find myself moving that far away from home. I wanted to be close to my pops. And, you know, my mom was in Memphis at the time. So it was like me moving across the world, you know, or across the country at least. It just wasn't really clicking in my head. But, you know, after being at A&M and being close to home and stuff and seeing my parents and all my family and stuff, it was more like, you know, in order to grow, got to take it a little bit out of the box. So that's what I did. You say in order to grow, what are, what are you trying to get out of being here? What's the growth you're looking for? Um, that ball, man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get them passes, man. I mean, at A&M, we're moving the ball, but I mean, we just we weren't we weren't as complete as we could be, and um, we definitely thought we were gonna be better, and that's that's no no taking to anybody, but I mean it's just how it turned out, and, you know coming here we definitely got a lot, so yeah. New school, new quarterback for you. What, what's what's it been like getting uh, in sync with DG? Um, DG DG's nice. I mean he's very he's very direct. I mean he's very smart with the ball, and he definitely knows what he wants, and he's a leader. So I mean. Other than that, I mean, all the quarterbacks, all the quarterbacks have showed me great potential, honestly. And it's it's gl I'm glad to have a quarterback because, you know, in high school, I had a middle linebacker throwing to me. And then, you know, <laughs> when I got to A&M, it was like five different quarterbacks rotating. So, I mean, being here, all of them, all of them are pretty good. You working mainly at the X or the Z? Or? Uh, really everywhere. But, yeah, mainly X and Z for sure. What was the leg injury? was the leg injury uh i actually had a broken ankle uh for i think after arkansas but i was just playing on it you feel me just trying to make it what i could so i mean i did pretty good in my event so, hey. and they couldn't diagnose that um i mean that's not i kept asking them i mean they just you know, they just wasn't telling me I, I guess i mean i wasn't gonna push it i mean i just didn't want you know any negative to come out of it. I just was keeping it going day by day, so. Mm -hmm. How would you just describe the competition in the room? How has that kind of made you a better player in your time here? Um, Honestly, is I mean, I came from a pretty loaded receiver room, honestly. So, I mean, uh, being here is kind of like, it's kind of nice seeing all the receivers because like, it, especially like Tez and like Trey Sean, because like, first of all, Trey Sean's like a massive human. So like he, he played, he's really that big role wide receiver like type thing. And then Tez, you know, he, he move a lot, you know, quick. And like seeing the combination of like what I could be like putting all that together is like pretty, it's pretty crazy. And then, you know, it's just watching everybody do their own thing. It's just, it inspires me to keep doing. What yeah. are you most looking forward to this Saturday, obviously playing in Ots and having the fans around and getting obviously put on the duck jersey in front of them? Honestly, just a good time, honestly. I mean, I'm just trying to embrace the environment, embrace the fans, embrace the team, and, you know, just enjoy Eugene, honestly. You yeah. know. A lot of players, when they get here, they say it's pretty tough learning the playbook. Mm. I think, I don't remember who said, but they said you were studying a lot before you even got here. Mm -hmm. How comfortable do you feel with the playbook heading into Saturday? Oh, actually, I feel pretty good. I was actually thinking about that the other day. I was like, I mean, at a and it took me a little bit just because I was a freshman getting into it. But I think because of that, coming here, it made it easier for the transition. So, I mean, I, I'd say like probably like the second week I was here, I was pretty I was pretty comfortable with the playbook. It was really just the signals, getting the signals down and stuff. So I'm pretty comfortable right now, yeah. This is a stacked wide receiver room uh, under Junior Adams. What do you feel like you bring to the table, Evan, and, and what do you want people to, to know you for? Um, Honestly, a little bit of everything. Uh, I can go up and get it like a big receiver. I can move like a little receiver. I got great hands. I'm very quick, very fast, longevity and short. So, I mean, I just want to show them I'm jack of all trades, honestly, and, you know, put it on film. How much the fastest receiver in the room? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna go with East Stu, but I mean, hey, if we're not counting East Stu, Probably Tez, probably Tez, probably Tez. But I ain't gonna lie, Kyler be moving too. Same with Trey Sean, Trey, so yeah. I think it'd be close if we all race, I wouldn't lie. Well, not me, but I think it'd be close. How much of your perception of Oregon compared to two years ago changed because of what this offense did the past two years with, with Will, with Kenny, with Bo? 
it's actually pretty crazy because last year I was like the first three weeks I was like top two and receiving like catches and yards stuff like that and I think it was week three I looked at the the stat line and I see Troy Franklin and Tez Johnson they right underneath each other they top three I was like hold on how's there two of them you know they getting the ball to both their receivers I was like it seemed like they got a pretty good offense. And then, you know, I tied into it. I was like really watching. I was like, nah, they explosive, especially with Bo. Bo got an arm and man, they, Will Stein was dialing it up too. I ain't lying. I, he sent me, after he sent me the playbook, I understood why they were doing what they was doing. Like he definitely got some plays up his sleeve. Definitely know how to utilize his players for sure. Jurion's another guy that uh, a lot of people are excited about in that wide receiver room, Evan. And you guys kind of had some more journeys, highly coveted recruits. What's it been like getting to know him? And how have you kind of shared some insight as he gets, uh, you know, situated here? Um, Jurion, Jurion's like, he kind of reminds me of Trayshawn. Like, he's that boy big role. But, I mean, he, he, he got great hands. And, you know, the first thing I really notice is, like, Jurion's bigger than me. So, honestly, he looks older than what he is. But I have to remember he's younger than me. So, like, I mean, he's still a young buck. Uh, he's still growing into, like, his role and, like, still understanding himself. But he's definitely getting better and better day and day. Definitely.